The liquid limit is defined by the moisture content in which a soil begins to act less as a viscous fluid and more as a plastic putty, like peanut butter. By convention, this is defined as the water content at which a groove cut into a soil pat in the Casagrande apparatus requires 25 blows to close at a distance of 13 millimeters, one half inch, the distance of this tool handle. We will need a few lab devices to help us with this. First, we will have the standard liquid limit device, also known as the Casagrande apparatus. This will aid us in getting the blow counts. Next, we will need the grooving tool used to make a standardized groove in the soil pad. We will also need a couple moisture content cans for moisture content determination. We will need a water bottle so we can add moisture to our soil. We will need a mixing bowl, bowl to prepare our soil in, a spatula to mix our soil, a mortar and pestle to crum crush the soil if need be. We will also need a scale to record the weights of each test. The plastic limit is defined as the moisture content at which a material begins to act less like a plastic putty and more like a brittle solid. In order to conduct the plastic limit test, the following will be required. We will need a glass plate to roll out our three millimeter threads on. We will need a rod that is three millimeters in diameter to gauge when we get down to three millimeters. We will need two cans to get moisture content in. And we will also need a spatula to spread and dry out our soil. The documents pertaining to today's lab can be found on Blackboard in PDF format. The documents include the lab handout, the ASTM standards, and the data sheets. In order to produce the flow curve, four liquid limit tests must be conducted. One test between the blow counts of 15 and 20, another between the blow counts of 20 and 25, a third between the blow counts of 25 and 30, and finally one between 30 and 35. As the soil dries out, the moisture content is reduced. This results in stiffer soil. To perform the liquid limit test, weigh out about 300 grams of the provided soil. If the soil is clumpy, you can break it up in the mortar and pestle. Add water from the water bottle and mix the soil until it appears uniform and the surface looks creamy. A proper blending could take up to 20 minutes. Determine and record the weights of the four tear cans, which will be used later in the test for moisture content determination. The Casagrande apparatus is easily knocked out of calibration, so it is important to calibrate the device often. The grooving tool has a block on the back of it that is exactly 10 millimeters tall, the fall height of the Casagrande cup. Calibrate the apparatus by placing the grooving tool underneath the cup. Rotate the handle so that the cam just contacts the cup. If the apparatus is calibrated, the cam will just barely touch the cup and it will not lift it off the grooving tool. Loosen the set screw on the top and adjust the thumb screw in the back to raise or lower the cup. Thoroughly clean and dry the cup. Evenly spread a moderate amount of soil into the cup to create a soil pat to be tested. Using the grooving tool, Create a straight groove through the center of the soil pad. The shoulders of the grooving tool should just scrape the surface of the soil pad. If the shoulders do not contact the soil pad surface, too little soil has been placed in the cup and the test should be restarted. Once the groove has been made, rotate the handle at 120 revolutions per minute, two cycles per second, and count the number of blows it takes to close the groove in the soil pad 13 millimeters or one half inch, which is the width of the grooving tool handle. If the number of blows falls between 15 and 20, scoop out some of the soil and place in one of the pre-weighed tear cans and record the new weight for moisture content determination. Place the can with the soil in the oven and re-weigh it again in 24 hours. If the number of blows falls below 15, mix the soil to dry it out, clean, dry the cup, and repeat the test. If the number of blows falls above 20, add moisture to the soil, mix it, clean and dry the cup, and retest. Repeat the procedure to get tests between 20 and 25, 
25 and 30, and 30 and 35 blows. Plot the moisture content versus blow counts and determine the liquid limit from the flow chart. With the moisture content plotted in the vertical axis and the blow counts plotted in the horizontal axis in log scale, a linear regression can be established through the data and the liquid limit can be interpolated.